I'm Lauren Smith. And I'm Billy Durham. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. We have welcomed a new baby crusader to the east side. Mr. Branson's wife gave birth to William Anthony Branson Saturday evening. He is a healthy baby weighing in at 7 pounds, 3 ounces, and 20.5 inches long. They will call him Liam. Mrs. Branson and the baby are doing well. Congratulations to the Branson family. You know they named him after me. Why would anybody name their baby after you? Anyway, starting next Monday, Cecina will be hosting a study hall after school in the library from 3.15 to 5 p.m. Any student who is not in an organized activity like sports practices or tutoring must be in the library for the study hall. You can bring a cell phone, read library books, or work on homework, but it must be absolutely silent. If a parent picks you up, you do not have to stay the whole time. If you are interested in the Creative Writing Club, please meet in Mr. Pasati's room today at 315. And now the Taney Man with today's weather. How are you doing, Crusaders? It's another fabulous day, as you can see. In today's forecast, we have partly cloudy skies with a high of 77 and the low of 54. So, Crusaders, just enjoy the day. Back to you guys. Thanks, Robert. A reminder to all students applying to the National Honor Society that applications are due October 14th at 3.15 p.m. No late applications will be accepted. To all JV and Varsity boys soccer players, please bring all jerseys and shorts to Coach Posati in room 213 by the end of this week. The JV football team plays Lutheran here tonight at 5 p.m. Tonight, the freshman volleyball teams play at University at 5 p.m. The JV and Varsity volleyball teams play here tonight starting at 5.30 for senior night. Come out and support your seniors. Here's reporters Ryan Frayne and Evan Vitson with an update on the cross-country team. The Crusader cross country team had a very successful year. Junior Michael Michal believes the Crusaders cross country team has improved much from last year due to its increase in size. Michael placed second in the conference meet, putting him on the ICC all conference team, along with Delaney Moss and Grace Newhart, who also placed top 10 in the meet. He looks forward to sectionals and hopes to advance to regionals. He says he ran over 350 miles this summer to prepare and for the past two years has been named all-conference. His goal this year was simply to move higher in the placing. Tomorrow we will be on mass schedule because we are having a guest speaker coming to Cecina. Sister Helen Prejean is a nationally known speaker who is helping to lead the Catholic Church's stance against the death penalty. She considers herself a Southern storyteller and brings a message of inspiration and hope. Well, that's all today's news. I'm Lauren Smith. And I'm Billy Durham. Only 110 more days till spring break.